Hi anatomy students, this is Dr. Aulis. In this short video, we're going to talk a little bit about the protein called melanin, which is what's most responsible for the color in your skin. When we talk about the melanin protein, this is a protein that's made only by the cells in your skin called melanocytes. Melanocytes are a little bit funky looking. Notice that they have these extensions called dendrites. Most of the cells in your epidermis, those keratinocytes we've talked a lot about, don't have these dendrite structures that reach out and around places. And the only reason melanocytes have them is because melanocytes have to share the melanin that they make with all of the keratinocytes in your epidermis. So melanocytes are funky looking cells on purpose because this is going to help them to share their melanin with the cells found in that outer layer of your skin. Melanin is very important to your skin because it helps to protect you from UV radiation. UV radiation is what we hear about a lot coming from the sun. The reason that your skin needs to be protected from UV radiation is because UV radiation has the ability to mutate your DNA, or in other words, change the sequence of your DNA. If we change your DNA sequence, that makes you more susceptible to developing cancer, for example. So UV radiation is absorbed by the melanin protein. By absorbing these UV rays, this prevents them from damaging the DNA of your cells. Whenever you're exposed to UV radiation, this causes your melanocytes to kick into gear. They sense or detect that UV radiation and that kicks their ribosomes and their Golgi apparatus into gear. They spit out a whole lot more melanin in an attempt to build an umbrella of sorts around your keratinocytes. The one goal in life of a melanocyte is to make sure that none of the keratinocytes that it's watching over become cancerous. So it makes more melanin to keep them safe. Sometimes humans like to hack this system. So we purposefully expose ourselves to UV radiation, perhaps by laying out next to the pool or laying out at the beach. I'm talking about something called tanning. When you go outside with the goal of turning into a bronze goddess or a bronze god, you're trying to get your melanocytes to make more melanin. But the downside to that is you're literally exposing your skin cells to the UV radiation from the sun. Yes, we're going to get a little bit more of this melanin protein, but we're also risking that damage to our cells DNA. When we talk about melanocytes, those cells that produce the proteins called melanin that give you your skin color, an interesting fact that we need to make sure we know is that everyone, regardless of your skin tone, has the exact same number of melanocytes. Stratum basal in every single person has the same number of melanocytes. Yet some of us, like Dr. Aulis, don't have very much melanin. Some of us have a lot of melanin in our skin. It's not a difference in the number of melanin producing cells that leads to these skin tone differences, but instead it's a difference in the activity of the melanocytes. For some people, like Dr. Aulis, my melanocytes are a little bit lazy. They don't really like to make proteins, so even if I'm exposed to UV radiation, there's a pretty good chance my melanocytes aren't gonna make me a bunch of melanin. Compare that to some of my friends with a darker skin tone. The darker your skin tone, the more active your melanocytes are all the time. So our difference in skin tone doesn't come from a difference in the number of melanocytes. That's the same for everybody. But some people's melanocytes are more active than others, leading to these differences in skin tone. An interesting condition that relates to melanocytes and to melanin is a condition known as albinism. Albinism is a genetic disorder in which a person is unable to make melanin. Their melanin gene is mutated. 
I've included these particular pictures of individuals with albinism to illustrate the fact that albinism is something that can strike individuals of any nationality. It's not just individuals who are Asian or African American or white. Anybody can develop albinism. When someone has albinism, they literally can't make the melanin protein. Recall from our discussion on, on the first slide that the job of melanin is to protect your cell's DNA. It absorbs UV radiation and makes sure that that radiation doesn't get to your cell's DNA. In individuals with albinism, they have no melanin. They have no shield to protect the DNA of their cells. Based on that, individuals with albinism are much more susceptible to developing skin cancer. And in our next video, we'll dive into skin cancer a little bit more.